doubly pleased to introduce for tonight only, and after an endless absence of nearly ten years, a specially written edition of that seminal television epic, Acorn Antiques. Hello. And may I begin by saying what a pleasure it is to be back here in my old continuity studio. No, I may not. I assume that gesture means get on with it, time is money, quality must be sacrificed to mass audience appeal, and there, in a nutshell, is the BBC of the 90s for you. <laughs> but for those who still appreciate the old values, I can be seen on cable television at quarter to three in the morning, hosting my own programme, Guinea Pigs Can Do More Than You Think. <laughs> and now, axed in 1987, Acorn Antiques is back, hard-hitting, relevant, Hold on to your rain hoods as we return to that little antiques emporium in downtown Manchesterford. Janula Mohammedan was at TV Centre to see the cast arrive. <laughs> Asians, wheelchairs, that's where the jobs are these days. <laughs> if you think humbly, forget it. <laughs> How does it feel to be back? Really? Thrilling. Is Acorn Antiques going to be very different? It's 90s. It's urban, it's low life, it's drugs, it's homelessness, it's brilliant. <laughs> but it's still set in an antique shop. Oh, yes. <laughs> we hear the new scripts are pretty raunchy. Aha. Uh -huh. I haven't actually read them yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Please, please let me get to work. This ceaseless hounding by the press, this relentless intrusion into my private life. Adored. Yes. An icon, yes. Investing every performance with an incandescent precision. Daily Mail, yes, but always. <laughs> Give a girl a break. I need to clock on. Will it be the new disturbing, bleak, hard air to take on antiques? Oh, no, I think it'll be exactly the same as it was before. Sorry, could you move? I'm trying to photograph the brickwork. <laughs> <laughs> beneficial caring relationship. <laughs> Though, of course, we must always remember that most prostitutes are loving mothers forced into something. <laughs> well, after a hard day at the Asian Illiteracy Centre, I'm pooped. As tannin and caffeine have been linked to genetic disorders in sheep, shall we play safe with a glass of water? Yes, yes. <laughs> Mrs. O. And O, of course, is the French for water, which is very handy to know if you're doing stage three of the national curriculum. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> But before Mrs. O comes in, and remember that as a senior citizen, she may need extra time to prepare a snack safely, I'd like to know what you think about this antique. Sorry I'm late. I was judging a diary rigged look-alike contest in Cumbria. <laughs> Terrorists. These days, this little hiccups can be edited out. Sorry I'm late. A hijacked jumbo jet has just crashed on Manchester Fort, wiping out half the city centre. <laughs> Terrorists. Decaf, Clement? Just a small one. I have to attend the late draws. <laughs> <course. laughs> Holy for you. Mrs. F. Clifford, you're an antique spot. Ah, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Eagle spot? We think this fell off a Georgian stereo unit, but we're not sure. Any ideas? Well, I'm not an expert on knobs. Not that I've heard. <laughs> Miss Bertel, Miss Babs, and Mr. Clifford. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> well, I must say, with my starky stair lift, I have independence, mobility, <laughs> and a chance at a dignified old age. They're marvellous. <laughs> Mr. Clifford's just been buffing up that old knob. Oh, 
I am pleased. <laughs> and luckily, in this enlightened age, that sort of remark doesn't raise so much as a... <laughs> oh, snicker. Well, I must go. Being in an incestuous relationship and having six tubelets is jolly tiring. Bye. I'm glad she's gone. Because now I can tell you that Balthus picked up a rare tropical disease playing unprotected ping pong and has only five days to live. Yes, well, sometimes an incurable disease is God's way of sending you to Disneyland. It is a good moment to tell you that I am not as I appear. You're a woman, aren't you, Clifford? <gasps> yes. I swallowed some testosterone in 1982 thinking it was milk of magnesia. <laughs> My real name is Fern. Well, I'm scared. They're very relaxed in the open prison, but I do have to be locked up by 6.30. Uh-huh. Why this strange silence? <laughs> You're looking at me so strangely, Mrs. O. <laughs> I've worked with you a long time, Miss Babs. And feelings grow. Feelings of love. Those feelings can be for a man, or they can be for a woman. Go on. I'm not ashamed of those feelings. Gosh, no. Human nature is very diverse. Sexuality is a complex weaving of genetics and conditioning. And powerful bodily yearnings will not be denied. No, no. <laughs> so, what I have to say is... Yes? That I'm... A, a, a Lebanese! <laughs> yes, ma'am. You do not say that word. Lebanese is the same letters. It's still a shock ending. You're supposed to come out as a lesbian. We're supposed to be kissing. I'm sorry, I don't agree with it. I've never even worn fly fronted trousers. I'm not for the schools. Do they really want to see a lesbian going up and down in a stair lift? <laughs> Uh, wonderful stuff. Did you get to have a laugh? Uh, people are being.